All right, it's time to go and find Cray's mother. Cray is some kind of a king of the tigers, and his mother was, um, Tarin? Is that the name? Anyway, she's probably here. Oh, crap. Um... Uh, see if I can get a... We're just, like, in the middle of a field. <laughs> oh, sign. Golden Plains. This way? Is this the way? I don't see a road. I don't know what I just... No, wait. <laughs> what was I supposed to do here? <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a dude here. Ugh, fine. That's not a horse. So I gotta go back to, to Warrant. Get me a horse. Could have told me that before I left. Oh shit, I think I, I missed the town. Yeah, I missed a town. I'm just in a field. Oh, wow. That was nice. I didn't have to fight a battle or anything. Ah, shit. I overshot it. <laughs> Alright, so I need a horse. Somebody here should sell me one. Hey, there's a dude with a horse. Give me this. Hey. Uh, I guess that's not my horse. Can I ride this thing? <laughs> Flying Nautilus? He can ride a Nautilus, though. That's pretty fucking quick, isn't it? So we don't have a horse, but we've got this thing. Okay. Better be here waiting for me. Now, of course, Ryu has to ride the damn thing. Ryu's been in a very... Oh, okay. <laughs> that worked out. It's like he joined the crew of Jackass.
Yeah, walk next to it. Ah. Oh, all right. It's like an old SNES game. <laughs> Actually, there was a section in uh, Breath of Fire 3 that... North. They said go north, right? Breath of Fire 3 that had a sort of a desert portion of the game that was like this. You had to travel through the desert and follow some very specific and actually incorrect directions to reach the other side. And I was stuck on that for a long time. Like an embarrassing amount of time I was stuck on that section of the game where I trekked across the desert. And it turns out that you were supposed to go... Um, the directions he had told you to travel north and then turn west for two days and then head north again. It turns out you're actually supposed to head east instead of west. So the directions it gave you were just wrong. And it just wasn't something that I, um... I, I, I tried following the directions. I tried following them over and over again and just it couldn't get to the other side. And I actually, I think I ended up giving up on the game for a period of time and then coming back to it then I went in the wrong direction and it turned out that was the right direction. It was really frustrating. I don't know why they chose to do that. It was insane. So I'm hoping that if I travel north, I'll actually get to where I'm going here and they're not fucking around with me again. So watch out for the smoke from the campfire. Ah, uh, birds. Do I follow the bird? <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I guess not. You would have to travel by night, because during the daytime, you, you, like, you don't travel by day in the desert. Oh, okay. I guess I made it. I, or not, I don't know. It's a volcano. I'm traveling the wrong direction. I'm traveling south. That was something you had to keep track of. Was your character would get turned around whenever you, uh... Alright, so I'm on the wrong... I'm... There's nothing here. Nothing here. Except for fights. Oh, is that a mage? Nut mage! Burn him! These things were in the third game as well. I don't remember them in the second game. But they were just these little bastards that were difficult to hit with physical attacks. But they're weak. They can't take much damage. So if you can hit them, using weak magic spells are... Uh, your best bet, I imagine. Should I just head south? Well, here's some bushes. See if there's anything in the bushes to do. Trekking out into the desert came across as kind of a dangerous thing because you only had so much water and your characters would need to drink it in order to keep going. So what you would do is you would head out there 
following the wrong directions and you just held deeper and deeper into the desert. Now you could find your way out by simply uh, riding like a yam kind of thing that would take you all the way back to the beginning. Once you actually made it to the other side, though, uh, Nina would get sick. Oh, there we go. Nina would get sick and you'd have to make what well, it wasn't really a choice. You would get to the other side, you'd have a boss fight, and then you'd have to kill the yak or whatever the hell it was in order to, to uh, like resuscitate her. Something about eating its meat or something. She needed protein or whatever. Anyway, here's our destination, I hope anyway. <laughs> You don't have a tail. Just a rock. The hell of a tent you got set up. It's Cray's mother, but Cray's mother, you'd think, would have a tail. Am I missing something here? sword we were talking about. Okay. that sword was something of significance, huh? Well, uh, got where I'm going, and we're at the 15 minute mark. So 
seems like a good place to end the episode. Although I am anxious to see what's on the other side of that door.